So my dudes Valk here. Today, I know I talked about it in probably a couple videos ago, I talked about the new time trial system and I made a course that is insanely difficult. If you guys ever want to try it, just come to my Twitch, it'll be in the description of the video. Just come to my Twitch and ask to join in and give this course a shot. You can see it's going to be played at 2 times speed because this course takes a while. It is a very difficult one. But that's not what I want to talk about today. I don't want to talk about my course. I want to talk about basically what this opens up as a whole because I've had some dreams that there's going to be more mechanics like this time trial thing. It's going to be a teapot stuff. We're going to be able to genuinely have some really cool shit uh, to where I can have essentially Genshin Ninja Warrior inside of my teapot now for anybody that wants to try this incredibly difficult challenge or any challenges I can make. Uh, they're adding a lot of ways to do it. Uh, for example, with my challenge, as you can see, it is a Kaya only challenge. You cannot have resonance on your team, so you can't do like animal resonance or any resonance like that. And because Kaya is so tall, he's actually allowed to jump on top of these hedges. That allows some really cool setups for that, that you can normally reach places you wouldn't be able to. There's also ways to block people so they have to climb along the rocks. So if they fall, it takes a really long time. Uh, I spent about on the course you're watching i spent collectively about four hours to make it um i had a lot of fun like it, it genuinely like i was actually during this entire run i was actually sweating because of how difficult this is and how punishing it is to fall and have to start all over again because it is that hard of a course and i'm just basically showing this to give you guys some inspiration so you guys can have some ideas so you guys can do it yourselves so yeah basically the video i'm going to go ahead and let it play and show you guys the rest of the run you can see i have to pause to take breaks to regenerate stamina because i'm i made the course i know each section takes a long a lot of stamina but uh i really am curious and i want i'm excited to see other people's designs and stuff as going forward with this time trial thing to see exactly what they can do and i might i no guarantees yet because i'm still debating on how i want to do it but what I might do is at the end of the month, whoever has the fastest time, obviously without cheating, whoever has the fastest time on uh, my scoreboard, I might give them something, whether it's like a gifted sub in my chat or like if it's another streamer, gift them subs or whatever. I don't know exactly how I want to do it yet. But I have a lot of cool ideas going forward with this, and I think this is a really, really cool mechanic that everybody should check out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have even been using this thing. Uh, I think, like I said, I personally think it's dope. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.